to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a couple of different things. The first thing is like a little mini reset and I just picked three rooms and reset those and then we're going to do a reorg of my bathroom countertop and the drawers and the cabinet underneath the sink. Um, I did it last year, but it was time to redo it. Um, it was time to clean it again. So yeah, and I ha I've got uh, some different inspo from some things I've seen um, online. So I wanted to change it and tweak it and then share with you guys and hopefully inspire you if that's something that you are looking to do here um, anytime soon. And I will share where I got everything and how much it costs and provide links down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get to it. Okay, so for this reset, we're going to start in my home office. I am just right now just decluttering so I can see the room um, and try to get everything back in the place it should go. And then I just did a quick dusting of everything. Then I'm going to clear off my desk, disinfect it, wipe it down because I do snack and drink and stuff in here while I work. Then I'm going to vacuum, light a couple of candles, spray some room spray, and this room will be reset. Next up is the living room and I'm pretty much doing the same thing, dusting all the major surfaces, wiping them down as well. Then I'm going to fluff the couch and the pillows because I be chilling. <laughs> it's a very comfortable room to chill and relax in so as you can see things need to be refluffed. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the last room we're going to reset before we get to the bathroom is the kitchen. On this day, I think I made breakfast, but I bought dinner, so I was putting it away. Uh, I'm going to empty the dishwasher. I'm going to put that food away. I'm going to clean out the sink, disinfect the countertops, and then use my little handy-dandy, um, like, robot back. That's what you call them, to help me sweep. Because, y'all, sweeping makes my lower back cramp so bad. And it has for years, it's like nothing new. Um, but anyway, I'm so glad I bought one of those little robot bags because they are so super helpful and work really well. At least the one I bought anyway. It is on Amazon in my storefront. Check it out if you are interested. Because um, it also mops too. So that's what I love about it. It is versatile. Um, and when I washed my cast iron skillet, as you will see here in just a second, I did use a little bit of soap. You're not supposed to use a bunch of soap. Um, cleaned it, dried it, and then put a little bit of av avocado oil in and just rubbed it, rubbed it around. And that's supposed to help continue to season your cast iron skillet, just in case you didn't know. Um, so I thought I'd share. Yeah, here we go. But that is it for the kitchen. Um, so enjoy the rest of the music while I finish.
life has been doing its thing, my physical environment has kind of taken a hit, so to speak. Um, so it's time to reset, it's time to declutter, it's time to reorganize, and I'm starting with my bathroom. So we are going to see how we went from this to this. It's like I know how it happened, but it's like time passes so quickly and things distract me that I just do what I need to do and get it done. And then I just come back later and then realize like, girl, what were you doing? We're gonna start with these drawers and hopefully that will help some of you all or inspire you all to do a reset on your environment one room at a time. Um, and right now the bathroom needs the most attention. So I did buy some different storage containers. I had already done this once, but that was probably a year or so ago. Um, so I need to do it again. I need to move some stuff out, move some stuff off my counter because I don't like any of that anymore. I'm gonna repurpose and reuse the containers and see what works best where. It'll be under this cabinet, it will be these three drawers and my countertop. Um, my jewelry drawer is still good. I oddly have done well <laughs> with keeping the jewelry drawer organized and things where they should go. Um, but everything else, not so much. So, okay, so y'all, y'all see this before. I want to give it a little bit of context. Um, in hindsight, because you know they say hindsight is 2020, I realized that I was depressed. And I never like to say that or speak that over myself, but looking at my countertop and thinking back through some of the things that I've gone through over these last few months, I realized I was depressed and it was manifesting in my environment. So. I had to do something about it. I finally had enough energy to do so. So yeah, I, I had to take care of this and it brought me so much joy. So with that said, pay attention to your environment. It can speak to you if you allow it to. Um, and I understand if you just can't, if you're just in a, in a season or a space where you can't, then you just can't because obviously I went through that myself. So um, just do your best to pull yourself out of it and control what you can control, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm going to stop here and just let y'all enjoy the rest of the music. Sticky 
sticky tape so they don't So here's how the drawers turned out. It actually doesn't look like this anymore. That top drawer doesn't, but I was able to actually layer some of the containers and store things in two layers in the deeper drawers. So I really like that. I don't know where I came up with that idea. It was just in the moment, but it worked out really well for me in these drawers. I was able to store quite a bit and organized. product of the sliding trays I actually like these a lot they fit quite a bit they were sturdy and they're cute all right you guys it has been <laughs> probably about three weeks since the end of that last footage and my camera died so I never went back and finished filming but I did finish the reorganization and I'm going to show y'all the end result and I'm also it's time to clean my countertop again so I'm going to clean it um, with you guys and then um, show y'all the finished product of under my cabinet using the um, sliding trays and uh, the final look of the drawers yeah I'm yeah so when I tell y'all that life been doing is thug fizzle. <laughs> y'all, I've been getting my butt whooped. But finally got to calmer, peaceful, relaxing type of day. I got some good sleep last night, so I got a little bit more energy today. Uh, played in my new makeup. So anyway let's go <laughs> and show y'all the finished product of the bathroom new york <laughs>
Okay, so you guys, I got this cute little rectangle tray. It's from Target. Hearth and Hand brand with Magnolia it was $24.99. Then, just so you can see the whole thing. I love it. It is absolutely perfect for what I needed it for. Makes me so happy, especially that. Okay, so here is the after of what it looks like um, using these little pull-out drawers and stands. Yes, I have them packed. Yes, I got rid of a lot of stuff. And I have vowed to use as much of this stuff as possible before I buy anything else. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is stuff I use every single day. This is the stuff that was in the little clear bin up there um, on my counter. So I just pull this out, use it, um, and then put everything back and put it back under here. Um, in the back, across the back, I have another container in the middle of hair tools like curling irons, flat irons, things like that. Over here is like feminine products, bath bombs, smell good type of stuff, shower fizzies. In the back over here, is um just storage of extra things that i use but i don't touch often um but anyway there is that y'all absolutely love what i have done oh and over here is like uh extra makeup stuff that i use but i don't touch every day um and then over here it's like an empty container <laughs> well it's almost empty I, t I put it in here so that gravity could do its thing and i can get uh, every little last bit of this out of this container. It's the native coconut vanilla, toxin free, smells good, not super thick. I love it. Um, but you put that back, and then I have like some, um, what do you call these things? Anti wrinkle silicone pads for your face. <laughs> But that is basically what I did. And y'all, I absolutely love it. I feel so much more organized. My mind is clear. Um, and it, I don't know, it, it just relieves stress for me. This is like something I can control. So I'm controlling it and bringing myself a little bit of joy. So. So y'all, that is pretty much it. I'm sitting on my little stool. I don't know if y'all have ever shown y'all this. This is a tufted stool. I think I got this from Home Goods a few years ago. A couple of years ago, so it was during the pandemic for sure. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something from it. Let me know what you think. Leave any comments. Please do like, comment, subscribe, all the things so you can be notified when I upload more content. Um, and that's it. Yeah, you guys. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Saturday. I'm going to get some editing done because I need to so I can get this video out to you guys. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.